when we're being asked to evaluate functions, we're going to be given a function, whether it's linear, whether it's quadratic, whether it's a square root function, etc. And we're being asked to input a certain value in for the variable x. So in this first one, evaluating f of x at negative 7x plus 4 for f of 3, for every instance that there appears an x in the function, we're now going to input 3 as that value. So f of 3 equals negative 7 times 3 plus 4. Notice I use parentheses to plug in that input for x. Then we use PEMDAS. We're going to go multiply before we add. And f of 3 equals negative 17. What that means is for an input of 3, I have an output of negative 17. It could be written as a coordinate pair like this. Let's go try the next one, also a linear function. How do I know this is linear? Because there is no number with the x. It's x to the power of invisible 1. A plain x is linear. This one's in point-slope form. This one was in slope-intercept form. So here I go. f of negative 1. For all instances of x, I am plugging in a negative 1. I'm going to do PEMDAS parentheses first negative 1 plus 5, then I'm going to multiply and then subtract. I get f of negative 1 equals 2. I could rewrite that as a coordinate pair where negative 1 is my input, 2 is my output, or my x comma y coordinate pair. For this next one, it's a quadratic or an x squared. I'm going to input the negative 4 for every place that there's an x. Notice my use of parentheses when inputting. So start with x when it's first in PEMDAS. So negative 4 squared is a negative times a negative, or positive 16, positive 32. And then I could write that answer also as a coordinate pair, as my input comma output, or x comma y. All right, on this next one, I'm plugging in a 19 to the square root function. So first do the square root first, and then we'll add 9. So 19 minus 3 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. I'm going to get that f of 19 equals 13. I could also write it as a coordinate pair of 19 comma 13. Okay, now we're going to see something different this year where instead of asking us to plug in a number, they're asking us to plug in a variable. We're plugging a variable plus a constant. So same thing, we're just going to use the same rule where we just input that value in for every occurrence of x. So this time it becomes f of a equals negative 7a plus 4. And then I look to see if I can simplify that any further, and I can't. So I'm already done. Uh, I could rewrite this as a coordinate pair of a comma negative 7a plus 4. That's all I can do. There's no more simplifying that can be done on that. Let's look at the next one, which happens to be a quadratic in vertex form. We're going to go f of a plus 2. And everywhere that there's an x, we're going to plug in and a plus 2. So it becomes a plus 2 plus 9 squared minus 6. So inside this parentheses first, using PEMDAS, it's now going to become a plus 11. Now, if you know how to simplify this binomial already, the a plus 11 squared can be stretched out and multiplied. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. Combine those little terms. If you're not familiar with multiplying of binomials, we do this in unit three coming up. So now it's going to be two times that full quantity. And then I can distribute 2a squared plus 44a plus 242 minus 6. And I get my final answer of 242 minus 6 is 230.
sorry, I forgot the little plus sign in there. So 2a squared plus 44a plus 236. And that's my f of a plus 2. And I could write this as a coordinate pair where I say a plus 2 is my input, and then 2a squared plus 44a plus 236 is my output.